আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম ডক্টর রিফাত তাবাসসুম এসএ প্রফেসর বসুন্ধরা আদি মেডিকেল কলেজ সাউথ কেনিগঞ্জ ঢাকা টুডে উই আর গোইং টু ডিসকাস अबाउट বডি ফ্লুইড এন্ড ওয়াটার ব্যালেন্স হোয়াট ইজ বডি ফ্লুইড টোটাল বডি ওয়াটার উইথ ইজ ডিসলভ কনস্টিটিউটস আর কলড বডি ওয়াটার বডি ফ্লুইড টোটাল 42 লিটার ফর 70 কেজি অ্যাডাল্ট মেল দা ডিসলভ কনস্টিটিউটস আর electrolytes and non electrolytes electrolytes included sodium ion potassium ion chloride ion bicarbonate ion calcium ion etc and non electrolyte include glucose cholesterol urea creatinine and bilirubin what the function of the water water serves as vehicle for transport of solutes it provide aqueous medium for the organism which is essential for various biochemical reactions occurring in our body it directly participate as a reactant in several metabolic reactions it is closely associated with regulation of body temperature now body fluid compartments a lean adults body fluid constitutes about 55 to 60% of female and 60 to 65% of male 70 to 80% of infant of total body mass the body fluid compartment are divided into two compartment intracellular fluid and extracellular fluid intracellular fluid the fluid inside the cells about two third of the body fluid and extracellular fluid include fluid outside the cell it includes interstitial fluid plasma and transcellular fluid interstitial fluid the fluid between cells is about 80% of ecf and plasma in blood is 15% of extracellular fluid Now here is the flow chart of the body fluid compartment it is divided into extracellular fluid which is 14 liter and intracellular fluid which is 28 liter extracellular fluid compartment again classified into plasma 3 liter transcellular fluid sorry trans interstitial fluid 10 liter and transcellular fluid 1 liter now what is transcellular fluid transcellular fluid it is the fluid which is separated from one fluid by another by epithelial membrane and the example of the transcellular fluids are fluid in the potential space that is csf pericardial fluid peritoneal fluid pleural fluid and synovial fluids and fluids in git now the measurement of the body fluid compartment there are two method of to measure the body fluid compartments direct method and indirect method the direct met method which is also known as indicator or dye dilution technique the principle we have to select a suitable dye or radioactive isotope to measure the body fluid compartments the formula is v equal to a minus e by c here v equal to volume of the fluid a equal to total amount of dye used e equal to amount of a excreted or the lost C equal to concentration of the dye. Direct method by direct method we can measure total body water, extracellular fluid volume, and plasma volume. And by intracellular uh, in indirect method we can measure interstitial fluid and intracellular fluid. Volume measurement of the various fluid compartments. Indicator or dye dilution principle, and we can measure total body water. by the using of the following substances deuterium oxide titrated water antipyrine and anti aminopyrin extracellular fluid we we can use sucrose inulin mannitol and sulfate sodium bromide and chloride volume measurement of various fluid compartment plasma for we can use evans blue and radioactive leveled iodine 125 albumin now criteria for suitable dye it must mix evenly throughout the compartment it is non toxic non excreted in a given time either it must be unchanged during the experiment or if changes the amount changes must be known and the material should be relatively easy to measure now water balance what is water balance water balance means fluid lost or output from the body is equal to the fluid intake or uh, in uh, in in our in the body if 
not equal is it may causes either overhydration that is volume expansion or dehydration that is volume contraction. There are two type of water balance positive water balance and negative water balance. Positive water balance when the water intake exceeds output it is known as positive water balance water retained in the body it occurs during growing period during recovery from disease and during pregnancy. Negative water balance when water output exceeds the water intake it occurs in vomiting, diarrhea, burn, hemorrhage, uncontrolled diabetes mellitus and starvation. Now, water balance of the body water intake we intake around 230 200 th 300 ml of water daily water and beverage 1300 ml food stuff 700 ml metabolic water that is endogenous derived from the oxidation of food 300 ml total 2300 ml U water output urine 1300 ml skin diffusion and by sweat 400 ml respiratory system evaporation 400 ml and by stool 200 ml that is total 2300 ml per insensible water loss. The loss of water from skin by diffusion and evaporation from lung. The loss is increased in hot climate and during exercise. Now regulation of water balance. The regulation of water balance occurred by thrust mechanism and ADH mechanism. Thrust mechanism. The hypothalamic thrust center is stimulated by a decline of the plasma volume of 10 percent to 15 percent and by increase of the plasma osmolarity of 1 to 2 percent. Decreased plasma volume and increased plasma osmolarity draws water from the neural cells of the thrust center of hypothalamus which causes shrinkage of the neural cells that stimulates drinking of the water to maintain the water balance. Intracellular dehydration dryness of the mouth also stimulates thrust center. Here the flow chart for the thrust mechanism. Decrease plasma volume and increase plasma osmolarity decreases saliva causes dry mouth and also osmoreceptor in the hypothalamus are stimulated. This causes hypothalamic thrust center stimulation and increased sensation of thrust and the person drinks water, water motion, mouth, throat and stretch the stomach and intestine, water absorbed from the GIT and plasma osmolarity decrease. Thrust mechanism feedback signals that inhibit the thrust center included motion of the mucus of the mouth and throat, activation of the stomach and intestinal stress receptors. Now the ADH mechanism, increase osmolarity and increase sodium concentration in the plasma and decrease plasma volume and blood pressure by 10 to 15 percent inhibit baroreceptor of the atrium and large vessels which stimulates posterior pituitary. Increase osmolarity is stimulates osmoreceptor of the hypothalamus both causes stimulation of the posterior pituitary and release of the ADH. ADH targets collecting duct and kidney and the effect is increased reabsorption of the water resulting decrease osmolarity and increased plasma volume and also scanty urine formation. Influence and regulation of ADH. Water reabsorption in collecting duct is proportional to the ADH release. Low ADH level produce dilute urine and reduced volume of the body fluid. High ADH level produce concentrated urine. Hypothalamic osmoreceptor triggers or inhibit ADH release. Factor that specially trigger ADH release included prolonged fever, exercise, uh, excessive sweating, vomiting, diarrhea severe blood loss and traumatic burns. That is all for today. Assalamu alaikum.